I'm Guy Aitchison. I've been tattooing since 1988. When I was 16 years old and part of the punk rock scene, my sister once just hit me up with the idea, why don't we go get tattooed? And I never thought about it before that. It just hadn't even occurred to me. But all of a sudden it was like a bolt of lightning. It was like a calling, the closest thing I've ever had in my life to something that felt like a true calling. My name is Michelle Wortman and I have been tattooing since 1998. I'm a multimedia artist. I've been a painter since I was 19. I went to art school briefly and um, that's where I'm coming from as a tattoo artist with a background in painting. So my approach is a little unconventional. I want my tattoos to look like paintings. So that's why I don't use black outlines and why I try to really create a fluid, dynamic, energetic aesthetic in the tattoos that I do. I was doing illustration back in those days, uh, sort of 1980s airbrush heavy metal art style, and um, in some ways it translated very directly to what was in demand at the time. People were getting these sort of illustrative tattoos of demons and barbarians and things like that. The kind of, of art I was doing uh, on album covers just naturally translated directly to skin. The other thing about uh, doing illustration in general is you're having to take uh, client requests, and that's uh, also very parallel to what you experience as a tattoo artist. The art I was doing 20 years ago was a lot more uh, experimental, um, it was a lot more impressionistic, it was less uh, decisive with what my intention was. It was definitely like, you know, I was just getting my groove on as an artist, you know, it wasn't really, I didn't really have a defining style, I was still trying to find it. And emotionally it was a lot darker and more moody, because that's how I was feeling at the time. Uh, from being tattooed and from uh, assessing what my tastes are, my style has really changed and I'm really focused right now on beauty and uh, uplifting energy and improving a situation. So when a client comes to me to get tattooed, I want to honor their beauty and enhance it, not take away from it. I'm mostly known for the biomechanical style of tattooing that I do on you know most of my clients. I mean, it can be robotic, it can be plant-like, it can look like rocks, it can have glowing things in it. It really doesn't follow any rules except it's abstract it needs depth, it needs to flow nicely on the body, and it needs to transform the, the, the arm or the leg or the body part into something beyond just a, you know, an ordinary part of a human body. Depth is something that, that I've always been interested in because I only have one working eye. I see the world as a flat snapshot, so I've always had to think about depth a lot more than most people. Uh, so I have a lot of tricks that I can use for simulating depth. To me it's a challenge, a, a puzzle, to try to create a sense of depth that you know, when other people look at a tattoo, um, they feel like they can reach in and grab it. When I first got tattooed, the styles that were available were really not what they are now, and I didn't really like the early work that I had on me, and I didn't think it was enhancing or attractive. So uh, that motivated me to want to see what, how could I make that different uh, by becoming a tattoo artist. The tattooing that I do is very inspired by Japanese bodysuits, that uh, the designs look more like a garment and less like individual piecework. Uh, I'm inspired by that, but I do my own thing with it where I focus on less use of black and heaviness and a more airy, flowy, floral aesthetic that's specifically designed for women. A lot of my clients are tattoo artists, and mostly they come to me with a, a very specific, uh, you know, bandwidth of what I do in mind. But mostly they, they want to be able to just give me the vaguest of idea of where they're, they're coming from and let me just cut loose. They want my cutting edge. They want to see what I've uh, been working on lately and what I'm the most excited about doing. And it's, it's rare and, and really a great privilege to have that level of trust with your clientele. Well, I kind of think of the work that I'm doing as, I've coined the word before, like a pastel rebellion because on the outside it looks soft and demure and pretty and unassuming, but the energy behind it is that it is edgy because it's not your typical tattoo style. Uh, a lot of people in our industry don't consider it legitimate tattooing. They think that in order to do a legitimate tattoo, it has to have a black outline, and it has to be bold and strong, and you have to be able to read it from across the street in order for it to be good. Whereas where I'm coming from is that that's not so much a consideration or a concern for me. In that sense, it's rebellion because I am breaking away from the norm and the standards of what people consider to be a tattoo. When our clients come to get tattooed, a lot of them, you know, when they first arrive, uh, they have uh, an idea in mind for their tattoo. And mostly, whether the, they're here for Michelle's work or my work, it's going to be a multiple session, you know, many visit, years long process. In the course of this, we actually get to witness the evolution of our clients. Um, it's part of the privilege of 
uh, being in a position to do this large work on this trusting clientele, to be able to be part and parcel with their personal transformative process. A lot of the people that I work on kind of, um, when they come to get tattooed by me, they're looking for some kind of change in their lives, some kind of transformation. And we don't get real specific about it, I just listen to what they're asking me for and uh, do the work. And it seems like in the course of watching my clients grow and change over the years, I see this evolution occur within them that's incredibly transformational. And I feel like I have a lot to do with that by just empowering them with positive imagery. Uh, that's visually uplifting and, you know, attractive. They're declaring their individualistic expression and that's empowering for them. They're saying, I own my skin and this is what I want to decorate it with. When Michelle and I first met, I was impressed by, by the fact that she had this uh, painting studio uh, separate from her house where she went and just made these big artistic messes and um, almost immediately I moved my easel in with her. Um, it was a perfect synergy where we could you know, just tap into each other's uh, energy as artists and do our own thing. And that's what we've been doing ever since. Um, some of our projects are collaborative, but mostly we just vibe off of each other. We do very different things artistically, and yet when we sit down at the end of the day and talk about what we've worked on as artists, we have a language in common that um, makes it possible for us to look very deeply into what each other are doing. Even though the subjects are so different, um, the core of, of the things that we're both aiming for to, to create a more flattering look on the human body, uh, something more visually appealing that uh, is farther and farther from the limits of what traditionally have constrained tattoos to the way they've always looked. These are things that we're just both very keen on doing. Guy and I do a lot of stuff together. We paint, we collaborate on tattoo designs, we uh, co-parent, you know, we're, we're a dynamic artistic team. Um, and it's really exciting to work with him because we've done so many things together that it's very natural. It flows from us really effortlessly and it's always exciting to see a hybrid of our personalities coming together into the things that we do. Hyperspace literally means more than three dimensions and when we first were thinking of names for uh, our studio and our new website 17 years ago, um, we wanted to convey something beyond just ordinary reality reaching deeper into what it means to be uh, a person and an artist and someone seeking a higher truth in, in your day-to-day -day life. When our clients visit Hyperspace Studios, we like to think of it as a, a destination that's outside of the normal space and time of the tattoo industry. It's a, it's a place where people can have something very unique done. Um, it, you can't find this anywhere else. We have a private studio where it's not like a physical address that anyone can just come to. So it sort of has its own uh, sense of time and space in itself. So we felt like Hyperspace Studios sort of described this alternate time and space that we existed in when we were uh, working on our art and just the uh, dynamic synergy of the people that we are and the art that we do. Using the name Hyperspace Studios felt really appropriate to where we were coming from as artists and uh, just seemed to like grow from that and now I can't imagine any other name that would describe us better.